Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Calculus Math 31, Lesson 7, Part 1, Velocity and Other Rates of Change, third part of Part 1. So, example question 4. A spherical balloon is being inflated. Find the rate of change of the volume with respect to the radius when the radius is 10 centimeters. Recall volume of sphere is 4 thirds pi r cubed. So, we're looking for change of volume. With respect to the radius. Okay, so as the radius when the radius is 10 centimeters. So we're going to do a limit. Surprise! Radius is going to 10. Volume of r minus volume of 10 divided by r minus 10. So let me see. So that's the limit. R goes to 10. Now volume is 4 thirds pi r cubed minus 4 thirds pi 10 cubed for r minus 10. And I'm going to be a bit of a neat freak and insist I make my 10 look like a 10. Now, a couple different ways to do this, but I want to point out right now 4 thirds pi is a constant. So I can factor that out. And notice I'm not multiplying 10 by cubed because I have a difference of cubes. Now, if you don't see that, then you got to multiply some crap out and it gets long, 4 thirds. But life. Now, that would be r minus 10 and plus a squared plus a b squared plus b squared. Now, the reason I do that is because, of course, my denominator is a restriction. I cannot have r equal 10. Now, 10 cancels out, r minus 10 cancels out. That's the limit. Limit write it neatly, Mr. Sutton. I insist your students do it nice, nicely. You should do it nicely, too. 4 thirds pi r squared plus 10r plus 100. Now, the nice thing about that is I don't have any restrictions there. r squared plus 10r plus 100 is a quadratic. Our domain is r is all real. Sorry. So I can just go, oh, you poop head. People are watching. Anyway, so let's just keep on going. So that's 4 thirds pi. I can drop the limit and just do simple substitution. 10 squared plus 10 times 10 plus 100. So that is 4 thirds pi times 300. Ah, 3, 300, 100. 400 pi. Right? Now, I want to point out here, I dropped my units, which is a dumb thing to do. This is 400 pi centimeters cubed volume per centimeter, which is radius. Technically, per one centimeter. That's what I need you to be able to do. Now, if you got any questions about that, shoot me an email. Otherwise, congratulations. Homework, page 43, numbers 1 to 3, 5 to 9. And note, this is the first part of the lesson. So work on that homework for a little while. Come back and watch the next set of videos on the second part of the lesson. Good luck.